all right what's up what's up guys we got another one here another quick uh repair here we got our 2001 civic it's gonna be the same from 01 to 05 and it's gonna be similar on some of the newer models as well so what we have is there's a uh, uh let me just show you so what we have here we have the um our trunk release and our fuel release are in one switch one's down one's up and it's not working so in order to, so in order to open the trunk i just have to use the key which isn't a big deal and i've been driving this car for like six years like that it's been like that ever since i got it doesn't really bother me it doesn't bother me that the fuel release doesn't work either um when i first got the car first time i went to put fuel in it that's when i noticed it didn't work and um, i was like well how am, I, how, am I, how am i get the door open so i just happened to look and so it was like that before i got it but somebody just wedges the, the uh, key in there and pops it open so that's what I've been doing. The car, the paint's not good on the car anyway. But we're about to start painting the car. So I need to fix that so I'll be able to release that without damaging the door. All right. So a replacement cable was, um, and I assume this was two separate cables. You know, I didn't know. But it's one cable that works both. So um, from the dealer, the new cable is around $100. So I got lucky on um, eBay for some aftermarket ones. And... I was expecting maybe around 30 so I found this one for eight nine seven nine nine eight dollars shipped for the cable ship complete to my door with tax was like eight dollars and fifty cents so I don't have high expectations is that it's gonna last long if it's even gonna fit even gonna work but for eight dollars I said well whatever let's give it a shot right all right so here it is like I said you got one cable that wires off then one side will go to the fuel door and then one will go to the trunk so let's just start tearing into it i'm actually gonna start um i think i'm gonna start in the trunk area and get the fuel door uh release out of the way and as usual fashion my trunks just hasn't been full of a bunch of crap but anyway let's jump right into it the lighting in here sucks i forgot to bring my work lights home but there's one release clip here we gotta pull this carpet back so we can access the back of the fuel door. So there's another one right here at the top. Pull that out. There's another clip down there. Uh, we yank those out, then we should be able to pull the carpet back. Okay, now we got the uh, carpet out of the way. You can see. Well, let me get you with some good light. So that is the release for the um, for the gas door, and I think you just rotate it, and I think it comes right on out. Yeah, all I did was stick my hand in there and just rotate it like uh, 180 degrees or 90 degrees. Came right out. Okay, next. So we can see this is where the cable wires right here. And we can see that. So this part is from inside the car from the police. That goes up, you know, up to, uh, to the front of the car. So the other side of this is going to go up towards the trunk so it goes up here goes around our hinge comes up here and that's when it goes right up through there and then right here to our release to our um latch see where the blue plastic is on that snap it out of that retainer there and then the ball end of that cable will come out of the latch mechanism then you'll be able to take it loose all right, so pop that out real quick, just like so, and the ball end slides right out of there. So now we just need to start feeding this back through the front. Well, surprisingly, there's really minimal clips holding this in. Um, there's one right here. All the hands will pop that one loose, pop that one loose, pop that one loose. And then, so we'll get it detached from there. Then we'll start working our way to the front of the car. So we're completely free from back here. Well, there's a clip right there. And, and it's going to just snake up. Well, 
and it's gonna snake up to the front of the car through the other side of the back seat. So, okay, now we're gonna be here on the inside of the car. Um, there's supposed to be a screw here, but it's missing because this car's been taken apart a bunch of times. And a lot of this stuff's just easy to come out because the car's been taken apart so many times. Okay, now let's disconnect the cable from where it goes into this housing. broken and I knew it was broken um because I've checked this before and yeah, that's why I found it so that's why I knew how to you know, what to order so all right get all this back out of the way so, one bolt here piece is broke off of my the lock switch here doesn't work and apparently that's why this piece was is broken off but we don't need that anyway so doesn't matter to me all right so here as you can see is yeah, the cable is broken there and it looks like it rusted here when I got this car the floor was really nasty the carpet was disgusting that's why I threw it out and got this because the car had been leaking water for a while Apparently standing water got in here and corroded the uh, the cable. So let's get it out of this house in here. Try not to cut ourselves. There we go. I'm gonna have to feed this through. Hopefully we don't break our plastic. Okay. So I got loose and now we just need to work on uh, feeding the rest of the cable back. So this is gonna go through here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take this apart. Right, that's loose, we can pop this free. Now we can get, should be one bolt holding this in. Wow, I fell. Holding this side seat in, there's one uh, 10 millimeter right here. Just gotta get out. And then this will go up and then come out. Now we can go ahead and pull this panel off. Now that's out of the way. Okay, now I'll show you what we got. So now you can see where the, the uh, cable runs. Okay, so there's one clip here. Right this hook. Just snaps out of that, okay. That's pretty much it. So it should just slide out of the trunk here. And it does. Uh, Amazing. Okay. Yeah, so it's basically out of the car now. We'll slide it back through right here. There you go. Cable's out. So that's the broke piece. Broken. That's a good one. So luckily that attachment there looks correct. Let's compare it while we got them out. Okay. That seems to be at the right place. That looks right. Man, looks like this is going to be one of the best $8 I've ever spent. I'm going to transfer some of these clips over, and how I'm going to do that, I'm going to just put these side by side and make sure I got them in the exact same place and move them from one right directly to the other. Right 
where it's supposed to be. So. All right, so got everything transferred over to our new one. So this time I'm gonna start the front of the car and work our way back. Or I might start here in the center and do what we did to work part forward and work the other part back. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. This is the end that goes to the uh, release lever. Run that back up in here. Got that up there, right around where it's supposed to be. Now we'll start feeding this stuff back. Again, I don't have any of my work lights with me, so we're using cell phone lights. Super professional, I know, I know. But hey, I'll tell you, for eight bucks so far, I'm very impressed with this whole, uh, this whole part. There we go. Put it in, give it a 90 degree turn. And she's locked in. All right. Now that's that. This thing, let's see. That clip somewhere down here. I don't exactly remember where. Same way we just did. We're going to run it up alongside our hinge. That's in, we can start. Yeah, I know there was a clip there. Started our clips up, they slid down the line cable. We'll put one here. Okay, I know there was one here, so we'll put another one there. Slide them back up. Put one there. Okay. There's one more in here. Put that one right there where it was. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. Okay, so we'll run our cable up here. And it's going to attach right here. Right there. Slide in there. Okay. I'm gonna bolt it up with that one 10 millimeter bolt. Right here. Okay, let's try it out. The down's a little crunchy, but Give it a test before we put it all back together. That works. And that works. All right, nothing left to do but just pop the rest of our interior back in. Everything works just like it should. Can't really say anything about it. It's eight dollars. I mean, come on. Everything's working. Uh, this gas lid. This gas door is going to need a little bit of work. I mean, it's no fault of the cable. You know, I just need to do some. It was way worse than this. I just, about five minutes into just tweaking it, 
and adjusting it, but this thing was just so bent up from years and years of prying on it that it's got it, the hinge and everything really warped up on it. So we just got to work on it and just get it dialed in, which I've got it fitting pretty good now. Just got to, uh, the bottom of it was really pried out. Just got to get it fitting a little tighter, but yeah, I think we can do that just from adjusting this uh, to catch right here. But yeah, um, glad I done this. Uh, if I would have looked earlier and seen that you know I could get the part for eight dollars, I probably would have done it a long time ago. But like I said, I really just wanted to fix this, get this gas door issue fixed before um we start uh, painting the car, which will probably be somewhere in the next month or two. We'll start on it. Got one more project that got to knock out. Then we're gonna jump. Uh, I say pretty hard into this, but as hard as I can with my limited schedule. But anyway. Hope this helped you out. I know it wasn't a great video. It's kind of one of these, kind of done it on a whim and um, wasn't really too prepared for it as far as my lighting and everything, but really easy to do. 10 millimeter wrench, I meant 10 millimeter socket, flathead screwdriver, and that's pretty much it. Have it knocked out in a relatively quick amount of time. So anyway, again, appreciate you for watching. Hopefully this helps you out. Got any questions, let me know. Got anything you want to see. Let me know as well, and we'll see you on the next one.